high amp validation is extremely easy and there are a lot of tools which allows you to do so today we are going to look at amp validator this is the official amp validation tool which allows you to validate the amp page you just got to enter the url and once you enter the url just hit validate and it will basically check for the validation and if there are any validation issues it will show the validation issue otherwise it will be passed now if you have a validation issue on your page how are you going to fix it so it's actually easy if you think about it so we'll create a validation issue first and we'll i'll, I'll show you how to fix it then so i've created this validation issue here now if you read it tag or text which is allowed only inside the body section found found outside the body section so this by reading this error we are able to understand what it says and it's extremely easy so and it also indicates where this issue is so if you just cut this the error will go away so the the point key takeaway here is just to read the error and try to understand and locate in which line that error is and that's how you validate the page now if you don't want to enter a lot of urls and you want to save time i recommend you to use amp validator chrome extension this basically validates pages on the fly so you don't have to do it again and again so for example this is my website and over here you can see this validation right so i will go inside another url and again it will check for the validation and yes it is valid so it saves bunch of time now this is extremely useful if you are in development stage but if you are in production you have to rely on some better tool for that i recommend going into the google search console so obviously every webmaster is going to have their own search console so once i open it in the dashboard we can see under the enhancement section there is this amp section over here if there are any errors throughout the website doesn't matter if you have got 50000 amp pages it's going to validate each and every single one of them and it will show it over here so currently i have these all of those pages are valid so i've got no validation issue and uh, if there are any validation issues you can again just read it properly and understand and try to fix it for yourself so that's it folks that's how you do it and if you want more informational videos like this just let me know in the comments if you are getting any validation error which you are not able to fix just let me know in the comments and i would be happy to help you thank you bye